My name is Sridhar Rangayan. I'm the Festival Director of Kashish Mumbai International Queer Film Festival, which is having its 12th edition right now. And you all must have watched this beautiful, beautiful film, A Skeleton in the Closet from Argentina, uh, directed by Nicolas Tete. A Skeleton in the Closet, amidst an existential crisis and after his traumatic coming out, Manuel has to go back to his hometown for a family meeting. And what a family meeting that's going to be. You all have seen the film, I'm sure. And we are here to have a conversation with the director, Nicolas Tete, and actor, Facundo Gambande, uh, who plays Manuel in the film. Uh, you must have all loved him in the film. And uh, uh, we're going to chat with Nicolas and uh, Facundo. And we have our interpreter, who is going to translate uh, the language for them. Uh, thank you for joining, all of you. And to host the conversation, we have Sharif Rangnaker. Uh, Sharif is a communication and workplace con culture consultant. Sharif has close to 30 years of experience in the fields of publishing, journalism, research, PR, and image management. Wow. He's the author of bestsellers, Straight to Normal, My Life as a Gay Man. Uh, he is a festival director of the Rainbow Lit Fest, queer and inclusive, and also a singer songwriter with Friends of Linger. Lots of hats you wear, uh, Sharif, more than me. <laughs> so welcome to the uh, Q&A, and uh, we hope we have a great Q&A. Over to you, Sharif. Thank you so much, uh, Sridhar, and uh, uh, lovely to, to actually get to virtually connect with, uh, with Nicholas uh, Tete and uh, Facundo uh, Gambande. It's such a huge privilege to have this conversation. It's, it's, it's fantastic to be at the Kashish uh, Lit Fest, one of my favorite uh, queer literature, I mean, queer festivals as such. And uh, the movie, I'm sure all the people who've just seen this film uh, must be in tears. Uh, to me, there were many moments through the film, but towards the end, when Manuel Facundo comes and says he's tired when he when he uh, cries that that moment I think must have touched many many hearts at that moment it did it did touch mine and and uh, I was in tears watching that 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 moment it was it was uh, it just like brought everything together and that that you know that was happening in the film I I have a few questions which connect with uh, first to start with. Uh, Argentina. It's been over 10 years that you'll have had same-sex marriage laws that allow you to, to have such a marriage. But yet when I see this movie 10 years after you've had the law, I see this movie as very important to us in South Asia at this point. And I also see it important to many other countries, irrespective of what law they may or may not have. Even after 10 years, uh, there are serious, serious issues of acceptance within families. There seems to be homophobia and also a certain amount of self-doubt in gay men, as we see in the case of Manuel, uh, unsure of how his own family will respond. So, so the question really is, has things changed or is homophobia still a problem which has led you to make such a film? Me parecía muy importante, eh, por más que tenemos en el país un montón de leyes, eh, como bueno, el matrimonio igualitario, eh, me parecía como muy importante que a veces pasa que hay leyes, pero dentro del seno de la familia, dentro de la familia. Well, uh, he thought that we, it was important, uh, though we or, already have um, laws regarding uh, gay marriage, um, to portray how families uh, inside doors take the, the reality of their, their son being gay. Though uh, the law says that that two uh, men can can marry uh, can marry, um, there there is a lot of uh, religious and and social and uh, historical things that make uh, our our mothers or 
our grandmothers or our fathers uh, think uh, otherwise. And, and though the law says that, that it's okay and that uh, gay men or, or women can, can get married, um, sometimes it's hard, it's hard to, to forget about uh, our education. Y a mí lo que me gustaría agregar también con respecto a esto es que me parece un poco, digo, que la, más allá de las leyes que, que puede llegar a haber, me parece que las leyes también tienen que ir acompañadas de educación, ¿verdad? Me parece que desde, ya desde muy chicos me parece muy importante que uno pueda, que, que a los chicos se los eduque y, se les, y que se permita a nivel legal poder realizar un montón de cosas y obtener un montón de derechos, sino me parece que también a nivel de educación hay que, hay que introducirlo en la sociedad de esa manera. Facundo says that um, though, though there is a law, uh, there must be some, some uh, education issues uh, that, that need to uh, go with that law. Um, that it doesn't matter if someone says, okay, you can do that. If, for example, Manuel uh, didn't have the, the right education that, that said, okay, there's There are many realities, there are uh, many genders, there are many uh, sexual choices, and, and if you don't know that, and if you don't, um, don't get educated uh, about that, uh, it doesn't matter about the laws. So yeah, that's, that's an interesting uh, point, because um, when in India, uh, they legalized, uh, you know, uh, decriminalized homosexuality two years ago or so, uh, the courts had told the governments to, to create an ecosystem, to create sort of a culture so that people are more educated, more aware. Uh, but that hasn't happened. So this movie actually becomes, again, important if it were to reach many more people Nicholas, uh, this question is now very specific to you. Your uh, earlier two movies, including Onyx, where I can see the, the poster on your wall, and then there was The Last Family Holidays, which is 2013. You've, you've sort of focused on family. Is family so important in the Argentinian context to tell a story, you know, because when we've seen what people call gay films, we quite often see, you know, stories about gay love, two people in love, you know, or things like that. We don't always see, uh, this could be a family movie, it may not be just a gay movie, but how important is family for you to give it so much focus. Eh, para mí es eh, muy importante eh, la, la familia como una herramienta para contar historias. Creo que hay muchas historias dentro de las familias y creo que hay muchas situaciones interesantes dentro de las familias. Por eso siempre es como muy inspirador para mí escuchar historias de familias, escuchar historias de vínculos, de relaciones. Y eso me lleva siempre a, a inspirarme en en mis películas, que en general nacen de eso, de historias de familias o cosas que me cuentan. For me, it's very important to um, the family to, to tell stories. Uh, I always get uh, inspired uh, by, by family stories and, and, uh, and, and things that, that people uh, tell me in the streets or, or uh, in life. Uh, in this case, uh, it was important to show uh, the family reality since it, it is actually a family history, um, a family story. And, uh, and it's about how families change over time and how families change uh, their, their minds or, over time and how uh, a son can change um, their, their, uh, their parents' um, mind. 
I, I think uh, that every family is is a whole world, and and when you, when you get inside a family, you can find um, many stories and 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 many things that are unique. You can get uh, identified with 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 them as, as with the family in this in this movie. In India, and I think most of South Asia, you know, family is extremely important and. Uh, if, you know, there is a sense, even in Sridhar's movie a few years ago, Evening Shadows, it was a gay film, but it was also a family film. You know, it was about a family and how it responds to the child coming out, the son coming out as gay. So, so my next question actually is to both uh, to Facundo and to Nicholas. How important is it to have queer people, a gay person in this, you know, uh, context, behind the camera that is directing, maybe writing the script, and in front of the camera, which you can, you have representation. So for a gay community, they get to see a gay man, like we get to see Facundo. Uh, how important is that in filmmaking in Argentina? A mí, a mí sinceramente me parece, me parece que es importante, me parece que es una manera un poco más real de poder contarla, me parece que si uno se siente totalmente representado, como pasó en mi caso, por ejemplo, cuando leí el guión por primera vez, me sentí totalmente identificado con la historia um, I think uh, representation, uh, representation matters um, because when when you feel ident uh, identified with the story, like uh, I felt uh, identified with Manuel, um, you can you can tell the story in, in a more real way. Um, many things that happened uh, to to Manuel actually happened uh, to me uh, in my life, uh, so I, I don't. I don't criticize uh, and, uh, uh, straight people doing uh, gay uh, gay stories because uh, it's okay to to tell the stories, but uh, when you lived it and and when it's a part of you, uh, there's um, uh, there's an, an easy way to get to to the audience. Sí, yo creo que es. Eh muy importante para mí eh, a la hora de armar el equipo de la película eh, fue importante tener un equipo bastante diverso when when I uh, got the, the crew together it was uh, very important to me um, to to be a diverse uh, a diverse uh, crew because it's a it's a diverse movie y en particular con el personaje de Manuel eh, bueno me pasó más o menos lo mismo que cuenta Facu que al encontrarnos y ponernos a conversar sobre el guión y que él me decía que muchas cosas del guión eh, las había vivido o situaciones similares o había escuchado de amigos. And uh, with Facu, what happened uh, was that uh, we got together and um, we talked about the movie and what happens in, in the movie with Manuel and and how uh, both of us um, been through the, the same things um or similar things so um when when we talked uh, i knew that he was manuel and and he was uh the the one that that i needed to to tell the story y después por último eh, creo que se nota cuando una película está escrita eh, por gente que sabe lo que está hablando y en este caso se nota cuando una película eh, que habla Eh, por ejemplo, de un amor gay está escrita por gente gay eh, o no. O sea, creo que eso es fundamental y creo que también nosotros. You can tell uh, when a movie, uh, a, a gay or um, a LGBTQ plus a movie uh, was written and, and made by uh, people in the community. <clears throat> and I think it's my duty uh, to tell those stories. Um, I, I think that's important. So I, I have another question, Nicholas. Uh, uh, is was it difficult to cast 
other people, heterosexual people? Is it a problem? Is it a challenge in the cinema you make? Sí, eh, fue difícil eh, armar la familia, ¿no? Porque estamos hablando de un vínculo que tiene que tener mucha historia dentro de la película, entonces eh, fue difícil encontrar eh, seis integrantes de una familia. It was difficult to find six members of a family uh, that looked like six members of a family. Um, the, the most important thing, uh, thing for me was to find Manuel. And one, uh, once I found Manuel, I started um, looking for the other members. Um, it, it was nice to see uh, what happened with the cast during uh, during uh, the, the shooting of the movie um, because they they behaved like a family um, the whole time um, and and they still uh, do they they still talk to each other and um, and see each other uh, like a family. Uh, Facundo, a uh, specific question for you, maybe slightly personal. Uh, how is it for you, uh, there are two questions here, okay? Um, one, while shooting the intimate scenes, you know, where you are making out or having sex with uh, a person, with your teacher, actually, yeah from the past. How is, how is it to do that? That's question one. Two is, do you fear that you might be typecast? That is, people only think of you as a gay man, as a gay actor, and therefore only gay roles. Con respecto a la realización de las escenas más íntimas, y a mí no es algo que realmente me, me preocupe o me incomode, al contrario, creo que es un, es un gran desafío también para, para hacer, para... Um, regarding sex, uh, it's not something that, that bothers me. Uh, I think that um, it's important to show that, that aspect of, of life and love life to, to tell this story. Es un gran actor eh, en Argentina y, y para mí fue un placer poder conectar con él y poder contar esta parte de la historia de Manuel también y esto esto que le pasaba a él. With the actor that played uh, the teacher, um, I, 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 knew, I knew him in, in, in the shooting, but uh, it's a very important actor. It was a pleasure to, to work with him and and to, and to do that, those scenes. No sé si considero que debería siempre castear o audicionar para personajes gays. De hecho, el, el otro día me lo planteaba y decía, ¿qué pasa si siempre me, me llaman para eso? Y no me molesta para nada, porque también digo... I don't think I need to be cast um, for only for gay roles, but I was thinking the other day, and I think that Um, it doesn't matter to me if that happens, because in the end, uh, there are m many uh, gay stories that need to be uh, um, told. And, and for example, uh, straight people play straight people all the time. So why can't I play gay roles all the time? Wow. Good point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I have, uh, I think since we're running out of time, I have two questions. Uh, one is really what I found interesting of Manuel's uh, as a character in the whole story. He queers the family in the sense he gets the family to become more honest of what it feels. It to remove all secrets and sort of everyone bonds together as one unit. And, and that's very interesting because it's a gay man at the center who doesn't want secrets. He doesn't want fear, phobia uh, of any kind. And he becomes this person who breaks up breaks uh, sort of 
gets the whole family to relook at how they live and how they bond with each other. Uh, is this something to do with your own life or is it to do with Argentinian families? Or is it the power of being a gay person who can get people to, or get families to relook at how they bond? Sí, lo, lo pensaba ahora mientras escuchaba la pregunta, eh, y me parece que, que, que sí, que uno como eh, vivió seguramente un par de años eh, en el closet o con secretos, y eh, cuando yo tenía esos, estos secretos eh, con mi familia, la verdad que la relación era muy mala, porque ocultaba algo y eso me tenía como enojado. When you live so many years in the closet, Um, you realize after that that the relationship with with uh, your parents and and with your family in general uh, it's a little bit uh, bad, and and when you when you come out um, there's something that that you need to um, like not keep um, more secrets from anyone and you need to if you. You don't like secrets anymore. Eh, lo que sucede bueno, con el nombre de la película, porque muchas veces, y, y sucede y se ve en, en la historia, que bueno, se juzga a alguien quizás porque es gay y, y no, no, no me gusta o no me cae bien su, su orientación sexual y todo, pero de repente creo que, que todos tenemos también como adentro o detrás un montón de cosas que esconder y las cuales... Uh, I think that is key. What happens with the the Spanish um, title of the movie is we all have a skeleton in the closet. Um, so I think th that's key. Um, you can judge people by by uh, their sexuality or their their whatever because you also have things inside and you also have secrets. So that's Uh, I, I think that's that's the key of of everything. Um, we all have secrets, um, and we all have uh, things to hide, and and that's something that that happens, especially in this family. Yeah, that that's interesting. It's a lot like many of our Indian families. Maybe all families have something to hide. I don't know, but, but that <laughs> yeah. that's been that's something we see. As an actor, you know which was the most difficult part that you that you felt that uh, you know across such a long feature film. Más allá de, de lo que requería a nivel actoral, me parece que era lo que contaba también y lo que sucedía era la, la explosión del final. No quiero expoliar mucho tampoco la, la historia, <laughs> pero la explosión que tiene. Eh, Manuel al final, donde realmente él no puede más, donde él no puede sostener todo lo que está sucediendo, no puede sostener que sus padres, que no poder conectar con sus papás. Uh, one of the most uh, difficult scenes uh, was the like the explosion at the, at the end when when Manuel uh, thinks that he he can take it anymore, he he can he can do it anymore, he's tired. Um, and well, it was a challenge because um, I, I wanted to show that that tiredness and, and that connection with uh, with his parents. Um, so it was it was uh, it was difficult. One of the most powerful scenes, which uh, I think many gay people who or any person who feels alienated in society in their home uh, they feel exhausted you know and Facundo that was brilliant you know and the way it was said. so Nicholas I, I need to uh, know from you is how long did it take you to to shoot this film and was it Difficult to raise funds. La película llevó mucho tiempo. Eh, 
concretarla, eh, fue un trabajo de muchos años, eh, el guión estuvo más o menos eh, cinco años eh, en proceso de, de trabajo, y mientras intentando conseguir los fondos. Uh, the movie took many years uh, to be to be done. Um, the script was about five years um, in the making and and in the process of of getting written. Uh, it was difficult to get uh, the the funds uh, needed to to shoot the the movie, so we did it in uh, only 15 days. Um, when uh, a regular movie in Argentina is shot in about a month. Um, uh, we wanted to tell the story so bad that we, uh, I, I decided to, to let go some scenes and some things just to, to tell the story with, with the fans uh, we had. Uh, it was a, a difficult job and it took many years uh, from, from the script and the production, uh, but I'm happy with the result and, and I'm happy to, to hear the, the comments that people all over the world when when they they see the the, the movie um, so i'm happy about that a lot of the film was shot at your home your parents home nicolas uh, yes. you know, parents home right and even the room that manuel has the cute little room is your room yeah <laughs> so so you know the question here is uh, was it budgets or was it uh, was it because the story was very personal? Is it like for both for you and Nicolas <laughs> and for you Facundo? Is it like because the story is so personal that you you sort of went to your parents, your parents no, or okay. Nicolas? <laughs> Budget. Eh, Budget. Fue presupuesto. <laughs> eh, pero creo que le da eh, un poder y una potencia a la película eh, que a mí me pasa. El otro día veía eh, en una crítica que salió de la película en Francia, eh, habían elegido justo eh, una foto de la película. It was mainly about budget. Um, <laughs> but I also think that um, this gives uh, the movie more power. Uh, the other day, I, I saw a, a critic in in a French in a French site, and um, they chose uh, a frame from the movie that it was all the family together in, in the in the table, and and then and then I thought that. I, I never realized that uh, the camera is in the exact place where I sit with my family uh, when I uh, when we get together. Um, so it, it was it was really it was amazing to think that. I, I think there's there's some strength uh, in in this. Uh, many many things that are in in Manuel's room are actually things from my teen years. Um, so uh, I think uh, that this gives the movie and the story more power. Eh, además, eh, hice una película en la casa de una de mis abuelas, eh, otra película en la casa de mi otra abuela, y bueno, ahora tocaba filmar el lo de mis padres. Y el departamento que se ve al principio de la película es ese departamento donde estamos ahora. Así que... Uh, my, my first movie was in my grandmother's, uh, was uh, shot in my grandmother's house. And my second, my second movie was shot in my other's, in my other grandmother's house. Um, and uh, so this was time for my parents to, to, to lend their, uh, their house. And the, the scenes that, uh, from the beginning of the movie, from the start of the movie, are shot in this, in this actual apartment where we are right now. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess now, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I love the kitchen. I mean, I love the kitchen. <laughs> and I love the thing that, 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 you know, you keep... You know the quick, uh, you know the quick turnaround, and you know the, it's just the way the tomatoes were nicely cut, the cherry tomatoes, and <laughs> oh my god! Uh, 
And then also what was very interesting, you were talking about, you know, your, I mean, it's nice to have such a family who keeps giving you a home to shoot. Somos muchos, somos descendientes de, de italianos o de españoles y creo que eso es algo que ha, que ha bajado de generación en generación, donde el momento de la comida era un momento de, de reunión, no era un momento de, de conexión familiar. We, um, we Argentinians come from, from mainly from uh, Spain and Italy, uh, so we inherit that, uh, that love um, for food. And it's, it, it is very important for us um, uh, and, and as a family to, to get together, uh, especially on Sundays and uh, after a week of, of work and, and study and everything, to get together and to relax and talk about our things and also fight about our things. Um, it, it is part of our culture. Sí, y creo que eh, todos, no sé, cuando nos ponemos de novios, eh, al toque pensamos en querer eh, cenar con nuestros padres y, y nuestro novio, y es como termina de coronar la, la relación. Yo creo que, que hay algo de eso también, o por lo menos eh, seguro le pasa a Manuel. Um, when we start, when we start a, a new relationship, when we fell, fall in love with someone, the first thing we, we think is, is about um, uh, bringing uh, them to, to dinner with our parents and, and what, uh, what would they think and, and what, uh, how, uh, how would that be? Uh, so it is important and, and it is important to Manuel too to to get together and to, to eat with, with his family. I don't know how many, how many people I've got home for dinner to meet my mother. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how many times <laughs> that has happened, yeah. And, and my mother would keep hoping, is he the one? Is he the one? <laughs> And the so other, I, and the other, and, and the, the, next, other, the next one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just have one now last question to both of you is what are your next plans, you know, lined up? I mean, this movie, obviously, as you've said, Nicolas, uh, earlier that you've got a very good reception at different festivals from critiques, uh, uh, but what is your next plan? And Facundo, what is your uh, next plan? You know, I mean, is there another movie? Is there something else you're doing? Cooking. ¿Cuáles son sus próximos planes? Bueno, eh, ahora estamos eh, empezando a organizar el estreno en Argentina de la película. La película ha tenido la posibilidad de viajar durante todo el año pasado y este... Uh, we're starting to work uh, in the Argentinian premiere uh, of the okay. movie since uh, the, the movie traveled around the world uh, last year, but we, we couldn't premiere it here. So in the last few months, in one or two months, um, we will have the, the Argentinian premiere. Um, I wrote a book that it uh, recently came out um, so I'm I'm a little bit focused on, in literature, um, and I'm hoping to to get back to filming uh, anytime as soon as possible. As soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck for that. <laughs> Facundo, what? What, what are you going estoy, to do? estoy esperando el estreno en Argentina, por supuesto, de todos tenemos. Eh, estoy muy ansioso porque la gente la ve acá. La verdad es que cada vez que muestro algo de la película, siempre, bueno, hay mucha gente de Argentina o de otros países que me escriben cuándo la vamos a poder ver, cuándo la podemos ver en nuestros países. Y estoy, bueno, muy ansioso para que todos puedan ver esta historia que a mí me hizo muy feliz hacer y contar. Eh, y por otro lado, estoy también a punto de estrenar la semana que viene. I'm waiting for the for this movie premiere. I'm really anxious about that. Um, many people ask me all the time about about the movie when I when I post a picture or uh, and everything. And uh, next week uh, I'll premiere um, uh, uh, a 
a show where where I where I uh, act. Um, that is the remake of uh, of a nineties uh, soap uh, opera, uh, very famous in Argentina and in many places in the world. I I don't know if if it was uh, if it uh, if you had it in in India. It's called Perla Negra or Black Pearl, and I'm really excited about that. So congratulations again for um, an absolutely beautiful film and, uh, you know, all the best. Uh, I hope the premiere goes uh, extremely well in Argentina. And uh, also, you. Uh, you know, for whatever your new project is, they call us best of luck for that. I hope again, it's one of those family kind of stories or whatever it, you may think of. And, uh, uh, Facundo, best of luck to you also, even for your soap, uh, which is uh, Black Pearl. That'd be great to see you do other things and uh, all the best. And uh, over to Shridhar. Uh, Thanks a lot. Uh, what a wonderful conversation we had uh, between three gay, out gay men who are doing such creatively beautiful work. Uh, thank you, Shari, for hosting the Q&A. And thank you, Nicholas, uh, for answering beautifully all the questions. And uh, thank you, Facundo, for being so charming. And oh. for, you know, uh, Sharif, uh, <laughs> Facundo has 1.3 million followers on Instagram. I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> what a star you are. What a star you are. But you're so humble still. Thank you for this wonderful conversation. And uh, so people who are watching this conversation on YouTube and uh, Facebook, please put your okay. questions. Uh, if you have any for Nicholas or Facundo or uh, any of the cast in the film, and they'll, I'll make sure that they answer it on Facebook or YouTube. I'll make sure that. So please put your questions here once you watch this particular Q&A. And there's still one more week of Kashish is still remaining. So if you have not got your passes yet, please go to MumbaiQFS.com and you can still buy a weekend pass to watch so many beautiful films. So thank you so much for all of you attending this particular Q&A. Thank you, Sharif, Nicholas, uh, Facundo, and Agule for uh, translating, interpreting. Thanks Agule, a lot. Really yeah. appreciate this. <laughs>